After getting molested by Karma, then a cast was shown by Yorick, Riot has finally decided to shine some light into the jungle and made it into a playable role again. So I've cooked up two builds hot off the press, allowing you to get some revenge on these mere mortals. Before I move on to anything, let me go over his abilities with you, or else none of this is gonna make any sense. Starting with Melkai's least functional ability, R. It's just a shittier Nami R. It's slower, it can be blocked, and most importantly, it leaves fucking gaps between projectiles! E. Sapling Toss. It's now made completely worthless, and to be honest, this ability alone should have bumped League's ESRB rating from T to M. Not from how much trauma has caused before the damage nerfs, but more for the fact that there's a tree eating a sapling across 6 football fields. I mean, just imagine what would happen if you did this with a toddler. And here at Bob Productions, we stand strongly against domestic violence, so learn your max disability last. W, you'll try to intrude 3 in 1 combo. Obesity, depression, and capitalism. Oh wait, sorry, I meant a dash, a root, and invulnerability all in one. This is Melkai's most useful ability. However, it's still non functional as it does shit damage, so max is second. Finally, we get to his Q, the signature ability of the happy shit stick. It combines the past 100 years of technical innovation along with two. 200 years of collective game design experience to create the most future proof, the most stunning and brilliant, and definitely the first of its kind ability. Percent max health damage on a tank in the form of a spammable pseudo skill shot! But hey, instead of a 99% slow, it's now a knockback, allowing you to stir up shit in a team fight, or a skirmish, or a 1v1, or the shit best of a game. Lastly, his passive. The thing that puts the happy and happy shit sticks Maokai. While he's stirring shit, his health bar enters into a quantum state. This is achieved by the fact that Maokai heals for approximately 700% of his maximum health every 0 to 30 seconds. Let me elaborate. In Riot's futile attempt to balance and justify the introduction of percent max health healing on a tank, is to give it a static cooldown. Then, as the superfluous morons that they are, they decided to add a second part that reduces the cooldown by 4 seconds whenever he is hit by an ability or casts one. He doesn't even need to hit it! Thus, making a perpetual motion machine, as the more you hit him, the more he heals. Alright, now that you guys know what Melkai's kit does, I can finally go over the runes without you guys calling me a retard. So for your rune page, you're gonna pick up Conquer, because they can't kill you if you're healing more damage than they deal. And if you're wondering, wait, don't you need to deal damage for Conquer to heal you? Then please kindly rewind and rewatch the ability rundown, because my Conquer has healed me more than Lee since Conquer. Next, take presence of mind, as you'll run out of mana before you run out of anything else with this build. Then, Take a legend tenacity and unflinching, as you can't heal when you're CC'd. Last stand, so the less health you have, the more damage you deal, thus increasing the healing you get. Followed by conditioning, attack speed, and double armor. For summoners, take ghost and chilling smite. I'm getting you to take ghost so you can stick on the enemy and stir up shit like the happy little shit stick that you are. For items, rush some fire, as it gives everything a happy shit stick needs health, resistances, ability haste, and tenacity. Next, get cosmic drive and boost of lucidity, ideally all 3 before 20 minutes. I'm not telling you to get the monarch embrace as it gives you less AP, leaves you open to getting kited, and has less effective health due to the lack of ability haste since every ability you cast is 4 seconds off your passive. Finally, finish off your build of spirit visage, frozen heart, and enough must chains. Now you may be wondering, wait, no, isn't this just tank Melkai? To that, the answer is a hell no, because with cosmic drive and conquer, you're going to end up with 159 ability power while in combat. So with all that normal shit out of the way, here's the main video, the bullshit that you all came here for. To become the embodiment of a shit stick, you'll need to start stirring up shit as soon as possible. So start enemy raptors, ward, then move to red. Be lying mid to let the enemy jungler know that you took their red and keep an eye out on this ward. If you see the enemy jungler on it, then we can come to the conclusion that he's retarded. But if he doesn't show, then help shove in the wave and get your laner to come and help you defend your red. Your blue or rotate top to counter gank. This is the main variable as some mid laners will start to have a mental breakdown, flaming you for shoving out their wave. In this case, speed up their mental instability by donating double buffs to the enemy mid laner, in the hopes that your mid laner becomes chronically insane allowing their family to claim the insurance money, which is probably the only remaining value of someone that won't help you get a free ass kill. But if all goes according to plan, you should have farmed 3 jungle quadrants and snowballed mid. Now you just have to keep stirring up shit, so don't be afraid to tower dive, as Maokai just just like Elise has a nasty lockdown and can drop tower aggro with ease. Just don't be stupid and 
engage with W. For red side, start enemy wolves into blue instead and take Grump like this. You want to pull up the Grump as much as possible so you can use this brush to empower your E. On a side note, leave dragons to your enemy team. The only time you take Drake is when the enemy leashes it because time spent killing Drake is time lost stirring shit. But do take Shelly whenever she's up because she's now worth 300 fucking gold and you deal on cap percent max health damage on Q so you take it extremely fast. And unlike Drake, you can pull Shelly to the splash allowing you to use your empowered E damage. And at the start of the video, I alluded to two builds hot off the press. And here's the second one. I guarantee that you'll enjoy it. 